What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Alpha Prime and this is the TF Nation 2023 Thoughts and Haul video. Uh, I always look forward to seeing these sort of videos on YouTube and I know over the next week there's going to be lots of them coming out. So this is my Thoughts and Haul video for TF Nation 2023. So just to get all the other bits sort of sorted we traveled over, me and my wife, we traveled over on Friday afternoon. Um, just sort of thought it would be a bit more relaxed to get over. I didn't actually pay for a Friday ticket. I just wanted to get over and get settled on the Friday. Previous years, I was arriving Saturday morning and either going home Saturday night. I think the last year I was at it, 2019. Uh, previous two years, I went on Saturday morning home on Sunday night. It all just depended sort of. On the situation so this time i wanted to get over and enjoy the friday night so we get over there and there is uh, a little mix up with the booking um when we were booking in they had the room but they were telling us that there was no breakfast included and i had it in to show them that yes in fact there was breakfast included in fact there was actually a x amount of the evening meal as well in the uh, hotel restaurant so after about 15, 20 minutes of sort of going back and forward, I had to pull up emails and stuff out there. Uh, it was just, a, a, for me, it was just a wee bit of a, a downer just to start off the, the TF Nation weekend, which had nothing to do with TF Nation whatsoever. It was just down the hotel and it did get resolved and all was good afterwards. So we didn't dwell on it the rest of the time. We got up to our room, we chilled out for a little bit uh, just to sort of take it all in um we took a little walk down round to where the trader hall was going to be um there was a rodimus idw rodimus standing you can get pictures and all took with it also just to snip this in here because i've sort of left it out uh we did get signed in uh on the friday so we got the the saturday pass and a Sunday pass. You got your TF Nation booklet and right in the centerpiece gives you this is very very handy to have so you got your booklet but they also give you a set of postcards. This was really really nice. Uh unexpected, nice surprise. Uh, I think it's a full set of uh postcards. Then we decided then we would go over and check out Resort World. So we walked around the shops for a bit and then got a bite to eat in TGI Fridays. Then we headed back then to the actual uh, Hilton Hotel and we bumped into Nosey, um, who was sort of walking about in the actual main foyer. So we got a quick chat and a catch up with Nosey. Um, we went up. We got sorted, we came down then for the Friday night and we bumped into Nosey, Tony and Rich, Mr. Sortwriter and Soundwave SG1. Um, chatted to them guys, uh, had a bit of a laugh, we played, me and the wife, we played some cards and stuff. It was just very relaxed. Uh, there was a couple of groups. Uh, we did meet Transformers of Show, Mr. Paul Farley and his group. Uh, so I sort of chatted with those guys for a while and yeah, it was really chilled sort of evening. Um, I think the traveling sort of caught up with me then and got sort of tired then about 11, half 11, I think. Uh, so just sort of went to bed then. I was absolutely shattered. Uh, it was a long day for us. So on the Saturday then we got up, we had the breakfast. The breakfast at the hotel is absolutely fantastic. Uh, that's the reason that I really wanted to have the breakfast <laughs> so the breakfast is fantastic there it's a buffet breakfast eat whatever you can just really fuel up uh, is my thing and then you can eat something light maybe for lunch so met loads of people then we went to the bar obviously i didn't pay for the early access tickets there was nothing really that i that was dying to get so i didn't see the need to pay an extra 35 40 pound i think it was roughly about that there for the early access now if there's something you're really looking to get i'm sure that's really worth it we sort of hung about the bar for a bit which i was really happy with at the end of because i bumped into a lot of awesome people in the bar 
off the top of my head, Russ from Toys R Us. I bumped into Sam from Sam's Formers. Both really, really good dudes. If you don't follow them on Instagram and stuff out there, definitely hit them up. Everyone knows both of them, I'm sure. Pretty well known within the Transformers community. I met John Borders dude. I also met Joe Crosshairs Productions. Picked up. Um, just show it here. I got the postcard and I got Jody sign it on the back. So that was pretty neat. Uh, I got a little chat to him. Um, really, really awesome dude. So he is. And if you haven't checked out his channel, definitely head over to Crosshairs Productions. The stop motion he does is absolutely fantastic. Then I bumped into Rudy and it was one of those ones I was in the middle of chatting and then I heard hey Alpha and I turned around sort of deer in the headlights and it took me a wee second and I was like Rudy <laughs> uh, he has his hair and all cut up and stuff uh, he had the, the twins with him I uh, was their first TFN and going by the pictures that I've seen of his uh, they seem to have an absolute blast so Rudy unfortunately man the, the weekend just flew in uh, I didn't get a proper chat with Rudy himself, but I was still glad to have met him and had a, a brief discussion with him. But I could see we sort of both twins wanted to go opposite ways, so he had his hands full at, at that. So after meeting and chatting with all those awesome guys, uh, we finally get into the trader hall and it was chaos. <laughs> it was absolute chaos. There were people everywhere. You were waiting a long time, especially around Toy Food. Now, the first place I always went, every time I went into the Trader Hall, first place, look at what Toy Food had, because they're constantly replenishing the table. So once they get space, new stuff comes out. So it's definitely a great place to check back on, maybe two or three times uh, throughout the day, maybe more, if you're in there, more. So we'll finally get in, and we got to walk around. Uh, I picked up a few figures, which I will show you at the end. Um, Went round all the stalls, had a, a really good look. There was a couple of things that, I, if I seen them, I would pick them up sort of thing, but I wasn't absolutely diving in there to get them. I went round then to the Ford section and I checked out Jinx, or Jinx's table and it was absolutely fantastic. Some of the artwork that they do is absolutely fantastic. I will just show you the piece that I picked up. This is absolutely wonderful. Uh, I'll try and get a better picture of it maybe for the end so that the glare's not on it. Beautiful. Transformers animated. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful piece of work. After we'd done a couple more laps of the hall, uh, I decided then I was going to Sue Blue's panel. I had initially planned to go to Robeson, but it was just as we got into the hall and by the time uh, I time it got away from me, by the time I'd realised then it was about half eleven and I thought yeah, that panel's going to be finished, or near enough finished. So, went to Sue Blue Part 1, brilliant panel. I really, really enjoy the panels with uh, the voice actors and stuff, because it gives you a real insight into how they got about, you know, getting the jobs and how they progressed through their career. So, it's really, really interesting for me to see. So, once that was finished, uh, we decided then we would go for another little wander about, Bumped into Nolsey, I was chatting to him. Uh, he was all hyped in about ClubCon. Um, I had sort of says that I hadn't really bought any tickets for ClubCon, but I think just the excitement then rubbed off on me and we actually went and got ClubCon tickets. And I'm absolutely buzzing that I did because we got a hang about with Nolsey himself. We sort of met up with Nolsey just before going to ClubCon, so we went in together and we just done all the stuff that's included with ClubCon. The, the cosplayers were absolutely fantastic this year. Not as many as previous years that I've been there, uh, but they were still really, really good. And I was, wasn't really overly surprised that Breakaway won the full robotic sort of one. Uh, there was quite a lot of star screams and stuff, but. I think a lot of work went into that costume for Breakaway. They actually deserved to win it. Then we came to the Matrix quiz and me and Nosey, <laughs> we tried our best at it. Uh, I reckon we got, I think it was out of 35, I reckon we got maybe the 10. I 
think the person that won it actually got 33 out of 35 which is one of the biggest scores i think in that matrix test and fair play to them because it was actually really really difficult i think when you're on the spot and the timer's counting down from 40 seconds i think your brain just goes boop empty there's a few that we got part of the name and then we just didn't get the right starting a perfect example night scream uh or dark scream i put night scream for some reason and we were so close and uh, Nosey got the, the second half of that, I can't remember exactly what it was, but Nosey got the second half and I thought I knew the other one because it was from RID 2001, but it's been a long time since I watched it and I couldn't get night, once the night scream was in my head, I couldn't get it out of my head. But we really enjoyed it. So we really enjoyed the performance then from Jayhan. The key guitar was absolutely fantastic and it was just great to see another fan up on the stage doing what they love. Almost forgot. Just before Jayhan went on to perform at Club, perform at Club Con, uh, they'd done an auction and they'd auctioned off all these little 3D printed sort of bits and stuff, uh, which were absolutely fantastic looking, just not for me and my collection, and they went for decent money. But the biggest thing, the final thing, they had this version of the postcard. Now this is just a little postcard size. They had blew this up to A4 size and had it framed, and it is going to be the only one at that size and you were able to bid for this and uh sue blue was going to then you were going to be able to go down and meet sue blue at nine o'clock on a sunday and she was going to personalize it for you then it was going to get marked or signed at the back by the guy that organized it all to proof it as a one one time piece it will be the only one ever made uh so this was like a one-off thing and it was absolutely beautiful looking and it actually sold for i think 1700 pounds 1700 pounds unbelievable obviously all that money then went to uh toy Fu, mary's maids which is absolutely amazing i would love to have that sort of cash to be able to do that but it didn't that guy did and my goodness he got an absolutely wonderful one-off piece and I'm sure he's very happy with it. So that was, we sort of hung about then in the bar then afterwards. They've, they've reworked the hotel a wee bit. So there's less seating area and they seem to have these booths and stuff. And yeah, not a lot of people had a stand and stuff out there. So it just wasn't as much seating as it used to be. Um, just another little probably negative of it. Maybe they need to look into or maybe have a separate room maybe with a bar in it for TF Nation or something so we can move away sort of from that where everyone can sort of gather together and move seats about and sit together but who knows. So then it came down to Sunday. Again got up, had breakfast and uh, hung about in the bar. Walked in then once the trader hall was open a bit. Just as I was going in I bumped into Plastic Crack. Uh, I think it was his first convention. Uh, really really nice guy and he was really excited just to get into the trader hall. He had couple of little things that he was maybe looking for but there was nothing really concrete that he was looking for whenever I was bumped into him and we were chatting so it was great great to meet him we made our way into the hall done another few laps of the hall Grobus and Grimlock was out I must have checked that out two or three times throughout the day uh, watching it transform I uh, got a couple of pictures of it Man, if that thing wasn't so high priced, like I would love to have that in my collection. Pictures and videos just don't do it justice. See, until you see it in front of you on a table, like it is absolutely amazing. I love the way that it leans forward, growls, and then sort of transforms. Like it just, it's like they just took it from the screen. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. It's just great to know that it exists in the world. Maybe one day, who knows? Also on the Sunday I bumped into Billy who organises it, had a little chat with him, uh, he's always flying about, he's always busy organising stuff but he does an absolutely wonderful job at getting everything to go. I thought the weekend went so so well for me personally, Billy and the team, he's done an awesome job. Bumped into then Ben from Ben's Collectibles, got chatting to him, obviously he's moving to Canada very shortly. Uh, we were just having a wee discussion about all that. Obviously, I have family that lives in Canada and just really down to earth guy. If you've ever met Ben, you know that he's, 
he's just like a, a, a normal person. There's no rushing you. He just likes to stand and chat and he gives you all the time to chat. It was great meeting Ben again. We also went then to uh, Dave, Sovlo Dave Sovloff's uh, panel. Again, because I like the voice actors, I like looking or listening to all their sort of bits and pieces, or their, uh, their stories as such. Like, it's really, really interesting to hear uh, how they get into doing things, how they got uh, jobs, how they got their parts in the series and what they thought about it. So always really, really interesting to see their panels. And then I also then went to Sue Blue's part two, which was initially I sort of thought to myself, maybe... Maybe she was just going to, maybe part one, part two, it was just, she was just going to do the panel on the two days, just in case someone couldn't make it to Saturday or Sunday. But it wasn't, they sort of, at the start of the panel, part two, on the Sunday, they sort of recapped what they sort of covered on the Saturday, uh, for anybody that hadn't made it on Saturday. And then she just continued on chatting about uh, her actual voice directing and stuff, which was really interesting, because I've never actually heard that side of it. A lot of the voice actors, uh, they just talk about the actual voice acting, but she had progressed into uh, voice directing, which she really enjoys doing. And obviously she's voice directed for a lot of shows, uh, including Beast Wars. Like she's on the first season of Prime, she's done animated, you know, uh, a little show called Turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But it was absolutely amazing just to hear all them stories and where else would you hear those things, really? So. It's really great. I love seeing those panels and I really enjoy those panels. Then it came to the closing ceremony. Yeah, uh, brilliant. They got all the guys up uh, from the, the TF Nation team. They were asking questions, or we were able to ask them questions then, which was really, really enjoyable. Some of the questions put them right on the spot, but some of the stories too that you know, they had really made. There's a little girl there that Maybe she was supposed to go to Disney World or something like that. And they absolutely went out of their way to make it a fantastic weekend for her. And uh, it doesn't surprise me with them. The, the guys at TF Nation do an absolutely wonderful job. And they make everybody so welcome. So that is TF Nation 2023 all finished. No, God, please, no, no, no. But... It is coming back next year for 2024. We are getting a mini con on the 23rd of March, but also we're getting TF Nation 2024 from Friday the 9th to the 11th of August. So really excited to know that we're finally get one next year again. I believe last year they weren't sure and it wasn't announced until sort of later on in 2023 before they announced that we were actually getting one in August. But it's happening. We are getting TF Nation 2024 is officially announced and I cannot wait already. Hopefully all being well, I will be there. Um, possibly, possibly with a forge table. So I hope to see all you guys back next year again and any new people that are thinking about going Definitely, I highly recommend going to TF Nation. It is absolutely fantastic. Can't recommend it enough. So on to the bit that everybody's probably waiting to see. What did I actually get at TF Nation? So just to start off with, we'll get artworks, our signatures sort of out of the way. I did get Sue Blue to sign my 86 movie cover. And I also got this awesome print from her table, as you can see. Uh, Really, really nice woman, uh, has a lot of time to chat with you. Uh, luckily, I got her when it was very quiet, and a funny story, I'd seen that there was only one person at her desk, um, and usually her desk was absolutely packed out all week, so I saw the opportunity, and I think I had a couple of bags of stuff, uh, of figures, and I nearly enough just threw it at my wife. I was like, here, I've got to get this. And I was trying to get then the, the 86 cover sort of out of my backpack and stuff. <laughs> Luckily, she did look around right at the right moment to catch it. Um, I, I just, I saw an opportunity and I couldn't pass it up. I also got this awesome print. Uh, I can't remember who I got the print from. The, my, uh, the name is eluding me. Um, 
if if you watch this video and you know this is your print like uh, the FS enemy there's nothing on here to to mark it i should have remembered but uh there's just so much going on uh it's absolutely beautiful artwork of uh transformers prime shockwave and of course i had to get there we go dave Selvoff to sign it uh as he voiced transformers prime shockwave so also i showed this earlier i got this from joe from crosshairs productions so on to the actual figures that i got at tf nation now i don't have these set in any particular order uh, of when i got them because it's all just a blur now uh, i've just i know i've got these figures and we're going to take a look at them so my first purchase as soon as i went into the hall was this guy the final tech grimlock he's not a merely transform i've sort of figured it out now so he's not too bad um his arms are a little loose but i'll sort that out so we have a new grimlock to add to the collection uh this this was definitely an easy pickup for me i've been looking at ones on ebay and stuff but they went for really crazy prices and i did not pay a crazy price for this guy he has his gun and a sword so he's complete the next pickup that i got was a g1 boss and he came with his missiles and it is in pretty good nick for its age there's not there's no real sun fading i did see another one in package and it was near enough green like a real greeny tinge off it um so i was very happy to pick this guy up i got this from leicester vintage and toy uh the grimlock was from toy foo um because i always went to their table first so i got grimlock from toy foo and they give us these a vhs tape not many people probably remember what these are um so this is like an old cassette tape i'm not even sure if i have a vhs player anymore but i thought this was a nice little freebie that I chucked in and it will look nice in the transformers collection another figure that i got was armada blur now i do know that he is missing his launchers um if anybody has a spare set of launchers for armada blur um sitting about definitely give me a shout but at least he came with his mini con and i got it at a really really cheap price i think i paid like 10 pound for it so not bad for an armada blur with a minicon obviously i'm missing the launchers but that doesn't really take away from the figure for me and it's on jetfire now his arms are loose as anything um i got this guy really really cheap price as well uh, i couldn't pass it up the only thing that he's missing is his gun and the, the fin on the side so you have these fins so he's missing it on this side uh, again anybody watching this video if you just have the fin or the gun especially the fin i would really really like to get the fin uh if you just have it whatever message me in the comments we'll get something sorted out uh, i would like to i would like to complete them and i'm going to have to fix the arms because they are desperately loose but it's a really nice figure to have and another purchase then from Toy Fu. Later on in the day, we got Crumble Zone. Uh, I always wanted this figure. I'd never ever seen it in the wild. Uh, it doesn't have his key, but I have Cybertron keys about in a little drawer. So that didn't really bother me. I wanted the figure. He has both his missiles. So to me, awesome really like crumble zone so i think that was all the pickups i had for saturday moving into sunday then obviously back to toy foo and nick was actually just sort of messing about posing this sort of guy and i think that sort of attracted my attention to it i had seen in demand i think had a, a packaged version of this um going and uh Obviously, I missed out on that. I couldn't find it then whenever I got around. So, obviously, someone picked it up really early on in the day. But I managed to pick these guys up separately out of package. Again, Toy Fu being Toy Fu. Wonderful prices. Energon, Swip, and Grimlock. Now, I know these aren't the best figures in the world, but they are Dinobots, especially Grimlock. I'm a Grimlock fan. It's just another Grimlock to add to my collection. So I didn't have these guys. Now I do. 
that's just another addition to that Dinobot army right over there. Next up, two purchases from the Space Bridge and you might have got a little hint there as the tail sort of poked up a little bit. But uh, I have been looking for so long uh, for this figure. It's very, very hard to come by, especially one that's not broken. Um, but I found it on the Space Bridge on the Sunday. I was digging through, they had a lot of loose figures all packaged up. I finally have a Transmetal 2 Dinobot. And this is so cool. Um, again, this is one I never ever seemed to find out in the wild when it was actually first released. Uh, I don't know whether just the stores around me just didn't get these guys in. Never managed to get them. Dinobot's one of my favorite characters in Beast Wars and the Transmetal 2 version always seemed to elude me so absolutely ecstatic to find this I, I couldn't believe it when I was searching through that he was still in there on a Sunday and yeah didn't hesitate picked him up straight away also as I was digging through the boxes uh, at the space bridge I found Cybertron Minasaur and this guy is another guy that's really hard. You don't see him pop up on eBay too often. And when he does, he goes for really bad, not really bad prices, but just really expensive prices and not willing to pay. He came with his Minicon and the Cybertron, or Cybertron Planet Key. And I don't even know if I have these all posed right or whatnot. I ha I I've just literally got these guys out um, of the bag and I cannot wait to mess about with this guy. And this will be the first time I've ever messed about with them. I never ever seen this guy in the wild either. Yeah, the shops near me, not great. And my second, well, my actual last purchase of the convention. Um, I had seen this on the Saturday, him and had about it, thought, uh, if it's still there, maybe on Sunday, I'll maybe pick it up. Um, Transmetal 2 Pro. I've always liked, this figure always looked really, really cool to me. Um, so can't wait, I'm, he's coming out of the package because I'm not an inbox collector. Uh, plus the package is all sort of dented here and stuff and scored and stuff out there. Like, so it's not meant or nothing. Uh, corners are all damaged. So this guy will be coming out, I'll get a mess about him for the first time. Uh, I picked this one because the chrome is obviously perfect in it because it is still in package. So I cannot wait to get messed about with this guy. Now, the biggest miss that I had, and I, I'm not overly bothered, I did see that there was a MP08 Grimlock in package, signed by Greg Berger, and it was going for £150. And I hemmed and had about it and thought, if I come back later, it's still there, maybe. Maybe I'll pick it up. Uh, I already have an MP08 Grimlock, Masterpiece Grimlock, which is up over there, and... I have lots of stuff signed by Greg Berger, so that I really needed in package one. That was what played in my head. I went back later on, someone already picked it up, and you know what? It saved me some money, because I think if it had been still there come the Sunday, I probably would have picked it up. And I don't overly need it. That's the way some things go. Someone obviously really wanted it, so they picked it up. But the last, the last thing that I got from the weekend and uh, it's really special because my wife bought it for me. Um, she's seen it on the table at, at Toy Fu um, and she obviously knows that I really really like Grimlock and it's just a fun fun little figure just to have. She picked up a little legend scale R.I.D. Grimlock and you know this really did mean a lot to me. There's a special attachment to this figure now. Um, my wife's not a big fan of Transformers, uh, but the fact that she knows my favorite Grimlock, she recognized this little guy and she picked it up without me knowing and handed it to me. Uh, so this really, really does mean a lot to me. Um, it's very special and he will forever be in my collection. Really, really like this.
This was so, so nice of her. And that's my TF Nation 2023 video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you were there, uh, I hope you had an absolutely fantastic weekend. If you're thinking about going, 100% go. Even if it's just for one day, if you can just do a Saturday or just do this Sunday, the trader hall is amazing. The panels are fantastic. And all the people that are there are absolutely wonderful people. So I highly recommend going in whatever capacity you can. Uh, I think you'll really, really enjoy yourself. So if you were there at TF Nation 2023, put a comment down in the description below. If you've done a video uh, of your haul for 2023, comment down below. Let me know you have because I really enjoy watching all those videos. If you're new to the channel, why not give a subscribe, hit that like button for the video, and until next time guys, stay awesome.